I was amazed at how standing there in the middle of essentially desert and seeing these lines go off into the distance with no water nearby, no trees even in the area that we were in in Eastern Oregon, um, just shrubs and scrubland and red ant hills here and there, <laughs> an occasional bird maybe, but just nothing living. And how they would have gone miles and miles like that in those covered wagons, um, bumpy, uh, dusty, sore. You really get a feel for how hard it would have been for these emigrants to make this trip. And whether you agree with the reasons they made the trip or not, you have to admire the tenacity because I don't even like to do a couple hours road trip in a vehicle that's not comfortable. And yet these guys, these families, these sometimes just single people, but usually families and couples, they made this trek over difficult, difficult land. No AC, having to watch for water everywhere, multiple diseases. I mean, if any of you have played the Oregon Trail game, you know, <laughs> you've learned a few things that make it hard. And the reason that game was, I think part of the reason that game um, has kind of stood the test of time and been a game that people still like to play is because there's just so much that can go wrong. And it's not necessarily inaccurate. Like a lot of people who tried to make this trip didn't make it.